Curious as to what all the buzz is about? Stay tuned to the end to find out what I do with a pair of sunglasses. Today's playlist is hosted by Tasha at Sunflowers with Tasha and Cindy with Z9 Designs. I started with one of these box frames from Dollar General that I have repurposed several times. I'm going to paint the inside with white chalk paint. Now I'm going to create a pattern for inside the box. Using this pattern, I cut out the same size from one of Dollar Tree's wallpaper stickers. This is an extra clay mold that I had made previously, and I'm going to give it a coat of this gold paint. I'm using one of IOD's transfers from the Brocant transfer booklet, and I'm going to use this B, so I'm going to place it down onto that wallpaper and use the transfer tool and apply it to the wallpaper. Next, I'll apply the crown above the B using tight bond. Now, who doesn't want to have a queen bee in their family? If you're the queen bee of your family, leave me a bee emoji in the comments below. Let's start with this piece from Anthropology for $133. I purchased this frame at a thrift store for only a couple of dollars. The Anthropology piece says that it is a tray, but I'm going to make mine into wall art. I removed the backing from the frame and I traced out the oval onto some foam board. Once I cut out my oval, I'm going to mix up some paint. I used a combination of some bright pink and crimson by Waverly. I gave this foam board two good coats of paint or just until I felt like it had good coverage. Now for the frame, it had this kind of brown part in the middle and I definitely wanted that gold. So I'm using some of this gold leaf paint. It's actually very strong, so open some windows. I mainly painted on top of that brown part, but I did go around the rest of the frame as well so that it would blend nicely. Now back to the foam board. I'm going to be using this rub-on transfer. It's from one of the IOD transfer books and I cut out that B and I thought it would be perfect for this project. Once it had completely been transferred, I removed that backing sheet and then just rubbed over it just a bit replaced it into the frame, and here we have a stunning high-end dupe for just a couple of dollars. Budget-friendly and beautiful. using a mini clipboard and I'm painting it in fusion paint. Once the paint was completely dry, I used IOD's new spring release book of flowers and I added this sunflower which I thought was perfect for this upcoming season. 
Also sanded over the transfer as well as around the edges of the clipboard. Now I'm going to tie on two different kinds of lace to the top and then I'm going to add one more embellishment. I got these little Bible scripture stamps from Amazon and I'm using one of those for this project. Let me know what you think about this one. Is this your favorite one of the day or was it one of the others? Let me know down in the comments below. For the center of the sunflower, I'm using one of these wood rounds from Dollar Tree. And then I used some scrap fabric. This was white linen that I had, and I cut out some petal pieces. I made the top part shaped like a petal, and the bottom part I just kept straight. Then I folded it together just as you see me doing here, and then I just hot glued it along the edge all the way around the wood round. And again, I'm just going to take one of those petals fold it in the middle just to give it kind of a pleat a couple of places and then just glue it right on that side. One thing you do want to be careful of is gluing them too close together because then that's going to kind of distort your petals. So they're close together but they're not butted right up against each other. And here's the last petal. The next thing I did was just hot glue on a dowel rod on the back with a boatload of glue. And that is it for this project. And here's a look at another one that I completed with a different fabric and a different wood round. to see what I do with those sunglasses. These are sunglasses from Dollar Tree and although they may be daisies I thought they looked a lot like a sunflower. So I'm going to be taking them out of the packaging and then I'm going to cut between the two flowers. I'm going to cut the sunglasses in half between the two flowers. I'm also going to cut off the arm of one of the flowers. Now I'm going to give the underside of the center of the flower, the eyeglass part, a coat of Waverly chalk paint in black. Now while that dries, we're going to go ahead and use this piece from Dollar General. I got this piece on clearance for about 10 cents. So I'm going to be giving the inside two coats of fusion paint encasement and I'm going to paint the frame in Waverly chalk paint in ink. Now this is an IOD stamp and I'm using just the bottom part of this stamp for this project. I'm actually stamping it upside down onto the bottom part of this sign. going to attach our sunflower. So I'm going to use one of these tumbling tower blocks to glue to the back so that it will sit flush against the sign. Now I removed part of the handle up here or the hanger and I decided to add some beads to it but I wanted to use something that wasn't just yellow on back, but black, but had a little bit of that orangey color around the center of the flower. So I painted a couple of the yellow beads to that color, and now I'm stringing them back onto the hanger. Now that I have all the beads placed back onto the hanger, I'm going to tie a knot at the end and then use some hot glue to adhere it to the back of the sign. Now that I've completed this sign, I want to go back and buy some of the white sunglasses just like this and see what I can do with them. Let me know what you think about this sunglass sunflower project.
Thanks again to our hosts, Tasha and Cindy. Be sure and check out their channels in the description box below along with the playlist. I'm going to go ahead and leave you another video here that I think you might like. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to share the sheet. Bye now.